Lady Sachs, thank you for being with us. They, they say that you made a long way, so, but I think that the distance between London and Israel is becoming smaller and smaller, and I will get back to it a little bit later. Sachs family, uh, management of Barilan University, Shlomo Zohar, Professor Albeck, Zohar Inon, Johnny, I don't see you, Johnny, Professor Reinhold, Hanoch, Professor Ben Pazi. Dear guests, it is, it is not very usual that when I speak in this capacity of being a president of a university, there's a mixed motions of the personal and the official. You know, there are there are moments in life or events in life that, that defines us, that influence us, that excite us. Yeah. Definitions, it's like, for me, it, I, when I got married, when my kids were born, when my parents passed away, I can tell you not now a few military stories that define who I am. The moment I became president of this university, but there's another moment when I knocked on the door of the Sachs family in London, and I came over for a meeting with Rabbi Sachs that Joanna arranged. Thank you very much. I came with a with a simple question that I had in mind regarding the role of Bar Ilan University in Israel and in the global jury. I got a long, about one hour lecture, very intensive, very clear. And I think that the most important thing that I came out with from this event was the importance of diversity, the, important, the importance of the individual, but also the importance of diversity in our society. This whole lecture sounded like a nevoah. How do you say nevoah? Okay, you know? Um, for me at that moment, and now I think that this is a very strong voice that we can bring into the discussion of Israel today. Somehow he envisioned the future and he came out, came back with ideas and solutions to this strong polarization and whatever we see around us today. But I want to take a moment and divert to another topic that was very important for me. And that's uh, the relationship between science and religion. Rabbi Sachs wrote a whole book about the great partnership. But out of this big and long and influential and very important writing, there is one sentence that I'm carrying with me and I'm using all the time. And I will share it with you. It's all about the fact that science and religion are not contradicting each other, it's actually a partnership. And the sentence goes like this, I'll say it slowly because it's amazing. Only he could define it like this. He said, science takes things apart to understand how they work. Religion put things together to understand what they mean. 
this is an amazing definition that I'm carrying with me all the time when I represent Barilan. And indeed, in a lecture given here at Barilan in 2018, Professor Ben Pazi invited him to the Department of uh, Jewish Philosophy. He spoke about this issue and he mentioned that actually the science and the religions are using, or I'll say how things work and what is the meaning, is using two different parts of the brain, which typically you need to exercise and to understand how to operate both sides of the brain. And over there, he said that his strong connection with bar University comes from the fact that this university exercises every day the use of both sides of the brain. And this is why he thought that this is the right place for him to be a member of our international board, also recipients of our honorary doctorate. Carrying this with us, it was clear to us that we are going to not only study Rabbi Sachs' um, philosophy and thought and approach, and we want even to excel it further, to disperse it, to bring it into the academic world. And therefore we decided, together with the family, together with Rabbi Sachs' legacy, to open an institute here at bar -Ilan. It will be called the Jonathan Sachs Institute at bar -Ilan University. We will talk about it. Days to come, we are still bringing things together. It will be located in the Department of Political Science. Professor Reinhold will be the leader over there together with Professor Ben Pazi. And I'm sure that we will be able to carry on, to excel, and to make the legacy as lively as possible and as meaningful as possible. Thank you very much.